Well, it has been 15 years since Hawaii became one of the first states in the country to legalize medical marijuana. Well, today our state is on the edge of another leap, opening dispensaries. But this time, it's complicated business, and those who know the pitfalls are flocking to the islands to share their knowledge. Uh, there's nothing easy about this. Michael Vischer jumped into the medical marijuana business in Colorado in 2009. Since then, he's learned a few things. So you could be paying more in taxes than you generated in revenue. Lessons learned for Colorado and Washington. Those states now in the process of lowering taxes on medical marijuana businesses to avoid pot from going back to the black market. Hawaii is in a great place right now because they're not the first. So you get to actually learn from other people's experiences. They have the ability to create one of the best systems on the planet. Vischer and Michael Patterson operate U.S. cannabis pharmaceutical research and development based in Florida. They praised Hawaii lawmakers for legislation that includes mandated cannabis testing and a smaller system. House Bill 321 allows for a total of eight dispensaries statewide to open as soon as next July. And they say Hawaii's location is perfect to prevent outside lawsuits. Right now, Oklahoma and Nebraska are suing Colorado for marijuana crossing into those states. Your isolation is a wonderful thing because you have no other states or no other countries to say, we don't like what they're doing. Their Saturday seminar at 300 bucks a pop has already netted over 200 people. And they say attendees are coming from all walks of life. Their mission, teach people the nuances, challenges, and realities of running a medical marijuana business. From growing to retail to getting insurance to getting a lawyer. So one of the reasons why we're coming out here so early is to make sure people, we give people time. Governor David Ige has not signed House Bill 321 into law yet, but he's expected to. Then expect a mad rush to get things done. The Department of Health must issue its rules by the end of January. Two weeks later, applications go out. Two weeks after that, the enrollment period is over. System where everybody needs to work together from day one, and that would be the difference with Hawaii than any other state. Well, New York State is going through the same process as Hawaii right now. And get this, Patterson says one group's application totaled 66,000 pages. Now, that's not the norm, but a reality check that this business is serious stuff. Now, Fisher and Patterson are still taking walk-ins for Saturday's session, and they plan to hold a more in-depth workshop in a few months.